evening everybody. Um, probably should record this during the day, but hey, <laughs> it's been crazy. Um, one of the things when you move or, you know, trying to revamp your home and your life as such is, uh, the fourth thing I would say is to decide the plants that you love to eat all the time. Um, I am a sucker for these giant Chinese cabbages. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I go through a whole one at least every two days. Um, and I love my sprouts. And celery is naturally gives food like a bit of a salty taste instead of adding salt if you like. And what I do is um, I just cut the base and plant it in water. And I'll show you. Let's just skews a bit of a trip around here. I'm just going around the dining table. It's so cold. I've got like poncho, my vegan um, Sherpa and <laughs> just all I feel like a walking snowman Oops. anyway so this is day one day two day three and day four and I really should be putting these in the backyard um, but it's time again and with the celery at the end there, oh, I should probably go on the other side. Yeah, I'll do it in a sec. And this is day four of my alpha sprouts. I've done previous posts of these, and I'll hit links at the bottom there for you, so you can check them out. But yeah, you it takes a while to establish your your veg garden, and herb garden. But meantime, the foods you do buy, like this giant cabbage here, you can actually start growing straight away. Um, so this is a celery, so this is day two, day four, day five. So basically when you do this, you're going to start getting little bits of roots on the bottom and when you put them in the soil, they're basically going to take hold and grow. So there's two roots there. You see that? They need to have roots. If you don't have roots, this is going to turn into a rotten pile. So just make sure you got the roots stemming out. And as soon as the roots stem out, you're good to plant. So I thought I'd share a really easy way to start your, your veg and herb garden off. Starting with your windowsill and, you know, growing your scraps in little bowls or what have you. And having a good alpha sprout tray or tray designated for that. I'm going to be um, sprouting mung beans next, so I'll show you how to do that as well. But this is my fourth thing to do when you move or revamping your place, is to get started with the stuff you like to eat. If you don't like cabbage, there's no point growing it. <laughs> so um, I would say look in your fridge now. Look at the veg and the fruit you like to eat and herbs and grow those. And start from the one that you eat the most if you can. Might be hard if you like bananas to plant a banana tree in your backyard if you know what I mean. But you know what I'm saying. But that's for me tonight and I'm about to step out and record the full moon. She is stunning. July we are in. Um, so yeah. With that I'll leave you be and um, we'll be uh, <laughs> talking to you soon again with the full moon recording. I'm also going to do a small little ritual candle for Odin to thank him for um, guiding me. You know our gods don't do stuff for us um, but if we listen and we act with honour and live with honour then the path that they have in front of us that's best for us we may not know why at the time is always clear so I really want to do a small little candle ritual for him and yeah I'll do that before I record the full moon I think I'll record the aftermath of it too so you can see what the setup looks like thank you and blessed be